Welcome back to The Grind for more details on the Crystal Howitzer Tower, which is now available in-game with the start of this fortification event. So when you log into the game, if you go to build a new tower, you will see it on the far right-hand side, the Crystal Howitzer. You can open it up to see the cost and what it looks like and the stats, and there's a little tutorial button which you can click to see it in action. And you can see how it shoots from pretty far range, and then the super shot breaks the shield. So this is a pretty cool looking tower, a unique design, but in my opinion, I am not so sure how amazing this tower is depending on what types of dragons you fly. If you fly sorcerers and warriors, this dragon will be really hard to counter. But if you fly invokers or hunters or anyone with an ability to dodge the tower, or to dodge a shot, then you should be able to manage against these towers pretty well. For example, Morak or Naha with white cloaks should have no problem, or white dodges should have no problem avoiding this tower. Dragons with cloaks, as long as you get rid of the blue mage, if it's a blue cloak, shouldn't have any trouble avoiding this either. With the blue mage down, because it's such long range, the shot will be in the air for quite some time, allowing you a pretty long duration to cloak and cancel that shot from continuing. Now, if you just use a cloak and it has a long cooldown, then you potentially will be in a lot of trouble. So let's talk about some more details that Peachy has now shared with us since the release was a little bit premature. This line will have six keys like the other season lines do. It will be available until the end of this season. It will cost 34,500 sigils like the other lines and it will have a lot of timers in it. It will have almost 1,200 days of timers, which is a huge amount of timers. The other lines have like three to 400. It will also contain gold chests, over 100 gold chests, which is comparable to the other lines. This tower's super shot breaks shields, and it is not a temporary branch in the sense that it has like a week of time. It's throughout this entire season, and this branch will return next season. So if you don't get it this season, if you didn't have the sigil saved up or you already started your last line, you can wait until next season to get that branch and it will still have enough to max the tower. The next season's crystal howitzer branch will not only have enough resources to get it to maxed level for the maxed level towers that it will be at the end of that season, which it might be 108 or 110, it will also have enough additional resources to max out the first tower if they are able to change it so that they are allowing two of these towers per base, but not more than one on an island or group of islands. So you are currently only allowed to build one of these per base. Now, a question about runes was asked, and at the current time, this tower is believed to be strong enough, so they are not allowing any runes specifically for that tower, but in the future, it will likely be introduced. Now, for this season, you cannot merge towers into this new crystal howitzer however at the beginning of next season you will be able to merge towers into the crystal howitzer so if you do not get the crystal howitzer branch this season um or if you don't even want to get it the next season or you don't get far enough down it you will be able to merge towers to build the crystal howitzer or to continue leveling it up so now let's take a look at this new season line and then talk a little bit more about my plans and whether or not I think it's worth it for me. So you can see the Crystal Howitzer branch here now is available and you see a lot of prizes with gold chests, different types of shards, including fire and ice shards, as well as elemental embers. There's also a lot of black pearls throughout the branch. And here you can see you get electrum bars and the speed ups. So there are a lot of speed ups throughout this line. There's about 1,200 days of speedups in this line, which is almost three times that of other lines. And it still has a bunch of gold chests, over 100 gold chests, which is similar to the other lines. You can also get all six keys like you can in other lines. So there is a lot of really good resources in this line. And part of that is to 
provide enough resources to get this new tower up to max level. Another thing that you might notice in game now is they've introduced platinum chests. These chests have really high amount drops and the mythic drops is only about 5%, but you can see you can get 25,000 elemental embers or 112 hour speed ups or 2,000 sigils. And what is that? 9,000 black pearls. So there's a lot of prizes in here, but I do not know yet. I need to spend some time looking at the numbers to see how it compares to the gold chests. I would expect that the output for spending your rubies on the platinum chests would be better considering how many rubies you spend i would expect you would get more prizes compared to how many you would get from spending that same amount of rubies on gold chests i do not know that for sure yet and it may be pretty comparable or perhaps it will just be different types of resources and less of the resources that people don't typically want something really important to point out is currently there are no pvp resources in this platinum chests now that may be because this is the fortification event and perhaps that will change as well with the PvP events like the gold chests do. I would expect that that's probably the case, but I do not know that for sure. So for me personally, I am not going to spend any rubies to open any platinum chests yet. I do want to see how the rates work out and if it changes with events like the gold chests, and most likely it will. But if you are in need of some extra resources during this event, then this is potentially a pretty good option because it looks like you have chance at some really high numbers of these resources that are essential for fortification event. So now let's talk a little bit more about my personal situation and what I feel about this tower at this time. I'm not convinced about this tower itself necessarily. Now the branch is a little bit of a different story, but the tower itself, I am not sure how I feel about it as far as whether or not it will make a difference for me flying against bases. However, I do see that a lot of higher level warriors like Gig can run through my base and there's not a whole lot for me to do to stop it. This tower I think will be a good means of defeating different warrior or sorcerer dragons, specifically Gig because he's a newer one that seems to be steamrolling a lot of bases. So this tower could potentially do that. Now, the problem is if I got this tower, I would need to put it on the Long Island and I haven't switched over to Island 4 and 5. So I would have to make that and commit to make that change with this tower. And I could do that, but I haven't really decided if that's something I want to do at this time. And if I don't, I don't really see much of a use for this tower on my base. Now, as an attacker, I feel like most of the dragons that I use anyways, Hunters and the Naha I'll be getting soon, and Morak, I don't see this tower significantly inhibiting my ability to take out a long middle island because it is so long range it allows time for me to dodge the shot and then it has to recharge again. So for me, I don't think that having this tower now would make a massive difference in my gameplay. Now, having the resources for the future would be definitely beneficial and helpful if I decided to get it. In the future, I probably will want one of these towers when I have switched over to the long middle island. But I definitely want to wait a little while and see the effect that it has on bases that I'm attacking and watching people who are attacking against these towers. Now let's talk about the branch itself. This branch allows you to get six keys to progress towards your mythic. It has a ton of speed ups. It has more days of timers than most people would get throughout an entire season and is comparable to three full branches. Not only that, but it still has 100 plus gold chests as well as elemental embers and other resources. So simply from a standpoint of progression resources, this branch has significantly more than other branches and would definitely help out, especially for players who are running low on speed ups and maybe this event will not have enough to get the goal that they're trying to get and if they're low on elemental embers. So for people who are struggling with resources for your base, this branch will significantly benefit you. 
And an argument could be made that even if you don't build this tower, if you're not in dire need of another dragon or another rider or one of the other branches that are available, that this branch would be essential for your progression in the long run. But for me, I do want a little bit of more time to analyze the resources available and to take a look at everything as a whole before I decide and commit to a line. But it is a very tempting line with all the resources that are available in it. So if you're eager to decide which branch to take and you want to spend your sigils, I would encourage you to exercise some patience, analyze your situation, what you really need now and what you expect that you'll need in the near future, and potentially wait for some other reviews on the tower and the resources as well before making your final decision. And hopefully within the next week, I'll be able to provide some information for you that might be helpful as well. And I'm pretty frustrated because I already had decided that I was going to reassess my season plan and potentially get Roshka. And now I have to reassess again and decide if I still want to get Roshka or this line because Roshka actually looks really cool and pretty viable. And I have a video coming out soon with some gameplay from a friend. So keep an eye out for that. So I hope this was helpful and I will see you in the next video.